We said widely across every bit of the media, I think, before you pick your squad, that James Madison would be the headline story, whether he was in or, or whether he was out. He's in. Why is he in? He's playing really well. Um, look, he's a good player. We've always said he's a good player. He's earned the right. Um, he, we think he can give us something slightly different to the other attacking players that we've got. So I think at various stages there have been conversations, debates about James. There's been moments where, you know, ahead of the Euros, he, I don't think he was in contention. He had a bit of a problem with his hip. And then I think September was probably a, a fair debate. Um, but I think he's playing as well as any of the attacking players in this country. And, um, yeah, he is a little bit different to the others. We've got different types of threat, and I think we, we could need that. Can you give us a, a flavour of what James Madison's reaction was when he answered and you told him the news? Yeah, he was, he was delighted. And, um, as I said, I had some very difficult calls that were emotionally at the other end of the spectrum. So... Yeah, it was nice to give myself a little bit of a, uh, an enjoyable end to that because, you know, I'm excited about going to a World Cup. It's my fourth. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a privilege and an honour. And um, all of those calls, the, the difficult ones and the really enjoyable ones, were a reminder of what it means to the players. You hinted that you wanted extra cover for players that might be struggling with injury and obviously Calvin Phillips and Kyle Walker are the two obvious ones there yeah. how are they how big a gamble is it to include them in, in this squad and, and can we assume that neither can really play a part in the, in the opening game uh, no that's not the case I mean Calvin played last night um, uh, so I think with him he's free of injury the um, we are aware that um, he's not going to be able to play 790 minutes that, that, that won't be possible um, we're going to have to build his fitness level, um, but he's available, he's free of injury, and we don't really have, you know, we, we have Declan Rice as a defensive midfielder. Hendo can play there, but it's not his number one position, um, so we don't have a lot of cover for that role in the country, and Calvin is a super player, and we feel that, um, you know, that's a, a risk worth taking because he's also... Germany, his fitness is good, um, and yeah, we, we think um, he can add to the group. And Kyle, similarly? Kyle, a little bit different in that he's not back in full training yet, but he, uh, he's going to be available before the end of the group stage. And, of course, we had to make a very difficult call with Reese, who we think is a fantastic player. But he wasn't going to be available until, if everything went perfectly, until the latter stages of the tournament. And there were too many unknowns for us on that road to recovery. And also, I don't think we can take a player who's not available for the group. That would be deemed arrogant in some circles. But also, we'd then be dropping, if, he, if everything went well and he was available and he was ready and we were picking him, then you'd be dropping him into a quarterfinal after eight weeks out. And that's, that would be really demanding. So, yeah, tough call. Um, Kyle is a long way ahead of that and um, is, is progressing really well. And for you now, going forward, when you've got a real balance between the experience of the players, the 12 that have been to a World Cup before, and, and the rest of this squad, and this, this quick turnaround, is that exactly why you've brought the likes of Harry Maguire back in when they haven't had those match minutes? Yeah, he's one of our best centre-backs. So um, uh, I think we, we know... Um, Within the squad, we've got a lot of players that we know have been to tournaments, have performed at the level, know what's required. Um, we've got other players who are playing well, who are in um, form right at this moment, and we've got to balance all of that when we're picking our team. Gareth, 21 of the 26 named were in the original Euro squad. What does that tell you about the foundation you've got, uh, and is the best yet to come from a group you know so well? Yeah, I think that um, we, you know, this, if you get to the final of a competition 18 months ago, there should be a fair amount of stability in terms of what that group were capable of on the biggest stage, um, but also room for people who are playing well to come into the group. And we've always tried to work that way. I think you've got to, I know people 
talk about being overly loyal, but you've got to have some consistency in your thinking because it's hard to build something without having that consistency. And then others can, can, can come in and thrive. So without doubt, there are a number of players who will be better for the experiences they've already had. Um, the key now is that we have to show that on the biggest stage.